Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to screen record on your Xbox Series X or Series S. Now this is a really really easy thing to do. Luckily on our new Xboxes there is a dedicated share button which is really awesome but it really just depends on what type of screen recording you're trying to do. So are you trying to record the last you know X amount of minutes of your gameplay or are you trying to start your recording right now? So unfortunately when I'm screen recording this it doesn't work while I'm streaming so I won't really be able to showcase it to you you know, in-house but it's pretty much the same exact process. So let's go and say we have this specific game pulled up. Again this is my Xbox Series X, I don't know how to prove that. But what we wanted to do here is go ahead and there's a couple of different options. The first one being is if we go and hold down on that share button, that's the new one right underneath the Xbox home button aka the guide button, there's a little you know arrow piping out of the thing. If you go and hold that down, it'll record the last you know couple of seconds or couple of minutes of your gameplay. So unfortunately, it won't record right then. But there is an easy way to go about this. So if we go and click on the share button right here, we can go and scroll all the way to the side to this little share button right here. And you can see this little option called start recording. Well, you want to go ahead and if you want to start recording, you want to go and click on that. And what will basically happen is your specific video will start recording on whatever gameplay you're doing, which is really cool. Now, if you're trying to record what happened, so what just happened, you can go and record it this way. And you can also capture a screenshot this way. But what I would recommend everyone to do is actually come into this panel, scroll all the way down to capture settings, go and click here. And to the side, you want to go and click on button mapping. So you want to go and click here. You'll get into this other panel. And this will make it so much easier for you. So you want to go and click on the show button menu. And you want to go down to share button hold. So you want to click here. And you want it to start stop recording. So what happens here is if you just hold it down, you'll get a little pop-up like this that'll say recording started. And if you hold it down again, it'll say recording stopped. Now, unfortunately, in this case, I am streaming, so it's not going to record, but it will give you those options. So instead of clicking guide and then scrolling all the way to the side and then clicking start recording and stop recording, you can go ahead and do it this way, which is really cool. Now, if you click B, I'll go ahead and tell you something that you might want to be, you know, at least known about. If you want to go ahead and scroll down to here where it says gaming clip resolution, you want to go ahead and click on it and you want to just, you know, be aware of this. So if you're trying to, if you have all the storage in your Xbox, you're not afraid of it, then by all means, you know, keep it up to whatever you want. But I would recommend everyone to kind of stream it at 1080p. If you already have a console that's like at 4K and you have enough storage, then by all means go for it. But you might be better off at keeping it at around 1080p. And also this automatically upload. If you want to go for it, this will automatically upload it to the Xbox app, which is cool. But again, it's up to you if you want to keep it on or not. And then capture location is basically you can read it to the side. And that's really pretty much it. If you're in the middle of a game, you can go and just hold down that share button and it'll go ahead and say recording started. You can go and stop recording and it'll go ahead and say stop recording. Or you can click on the guide button, scroll all the way to capture and share and click start recording and then stop recording same exact way. Now, if you're done with it and you want to see your screenshots and your screen recording, you can go and scroll down to show last capture or to recent captures. You can go and click here and I'll go ahead and show you exactly all those screen recordings and all those different things that you did right here so that's really pretty much the process if you guys have any other questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much if you guys get hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other channels more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then